Girls and boys, welcome to chapter 18, personal best of L. Ray Jakes Walks the Way by Susan Warner. And I'm going to miss L. Ray. I wish him the very best. I must find out what happens. There are many more L. Ray Jake books, and I'm pretty sure the public library is open for business right now. So if you need a book, contact them if Miss Cassingway doesn't have one for you. Here, what decisions does he make? Why would you make the same decision? Why or why not? So why does he decide what he decides? That's the question. You're going to find out what he decides. And then why does he decide what he decides? And if you check on Seesaw, you can put your response there. <gasps> Chapter 18, personal best. And now, oh, goes on tight. Miss Sanchez says later that afternoon, about 20 minutes before school is over for the week. All right, so it's Friday. We have a few items of business to take care of. First, I'd like to ask, Annie, Pat, and Corey to hand out the latest progress reports for you to take home and get signed. <gasps> report cards. Oh, by the way, I'm doing report cards this weekend. Don't worry. I'll wait till after I eat. When I'm in a good mood. I mean, <clears throat> sorry. I'd like them back first thing Monday morning, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, I call you guys ladies and gentlemen. Or what do I call you? Beetles and bugs? Ladybugs and beetles? Focus, Pelly, focus. The progress reports are in licked shut envelopes. Of course, with our names on them. In big letters. I'm going to remember to get that thing signed by Monday. I promise myself, no matter what I might say inside, I want to show Miss Sanchez that I can do it. Silence, please, Miss Sanchez says when the progress reports have all been handed out. Next, there's an announcement I would like to make. Cynthia sits straight up in her chair and folds her hands on the desk in front of her like she's getting ready to hear me get all the blame for spilling the water. Show me your Cynthia look. Yes, good job. She's being like perfect, right? Cynthia Harbinson. Miss Sanchez is about to help tell everybody how beautiful and precious I am. I think horrified. No, wait, I hear myself say. Miss Sanchez stares at me. You'd like to say something, she finally asks me. I guess, I say as I walk with concrete feet to the front of the class. Concrete is what they make steps out of, or, or sidewalks, or, or like things, heavy, heavy things. If you have concrete feet, you walk very slow. Anyhow, I'm picturing him. Hi, I'd like to, t I tell everybody, my announcement is uh, about this handheld video game I like to play. It is called Die, Creature Die. <laughs> a couple of girls in my class look instantly bored, like they were just touched with a magic wand. Oh. And Cynthia looks confused, but most of the boys are surprised and excited to hear me talking about this game, and they like it. Miss Sanchez looks surprised. Tick tock, El Rey, she says. Remember, El Rey has a way of not getting to the point when he needs to say something. Whew. Miss Sanchez's way for saying hurry up. So I really like this game. I tell everyone again, speeding up a little. Only I'm not very good at it, not like Stanley or Kevin anyway. 
Stanley and Kevin sit up straighter in their chairs. Hmm. In fact, I'm almost terrible at it, I say. But Die, Creature Die, is the newest game I have, and it is really fun to play. And my personal best is getting better. And that's what this announcement is all about. Miss Sanchez relaxes a little, but mostly the kids look confused. I'm a little confused. What's he getting at here? His personal best. Hmm. Big deal, Cynthia. <coughs> Coughs into her hand. Try it. Big deal. <coughs> Ooh, she's not nice. In case you didn't know, I say talking over her, personal best means how much you improve at something, competing only against yourself. <gasps> oh, and improving takes time, and you have to keep working at it. You have to keep working at stuff to get better at things. You have to keep trying no matter what. You have to keep trying no matter how bad things look. Very good, El Rey, Miss Sanchez says in a quiet voice as she beams at me. Beaming. And another thing I add before she can call me sweetie again or suggest that I sit down is anybody can take your personal best away. Any, oh. Nobody can take your personal best away from you. Not if you don't let them. Like, if someone else is having trouble with their game, well, I'm sorry, that's their problem. No matter how perfect they usually are. <gasps> I picture him looking at Cynthia right now. Cynthia Harbinson slides down low in the chair. In the end, I say, because I can't think of how to end my speech, I just say the end. And I walk back to my chair on bouncier feet. This time, a few of the kids in my class wriggle in their seats as if they're silently saying, huh? What was that all about? But a couple of kids have figured it out. Well, I have an announcement to make too, says Miss Sanchez. It is about a certain young man I know. Now, this young man happens to be such a gentleman that when his four-year-old sister accidentally killed someone else's pet fish, he took the blame for it. <gasps> she knows it wasn't him? She knows it was the sister? <laughs> she never let on. <gasps> Wait, teachers know things. Right, Riley? No. Alexis? Shh, it's a secret. We can't tell. I would never give out a secret. That's the kind of person I am. You can trust me. There's another wriggle in the class. He took the blame for it, regardless of how bad it made him look. The kids look at the empty fishbowl as if they expect Zip to magically appear and take a bow, but no. Maybe the little wings in the halo like a cartoon angel, I don't know, hmm. And yes, Miss Sanchez continues, still not looking at anyone in particular. This young man may once have forgotten to bring a book he borrowed back to class, but nobody's perfect, are they? Cynthia clamps her lips shut until they are just skinny pink line. Do it. Yes, you do that when you're kind of like, mm. you can't say anything and you're kind of sort of mad and you're upset and you don't know really what to, you never do that in front of the turkey. You can tell this is not her favorite saying, nobody's perfect. But this particularly young man had a lot on his mind that day, she says, and may I mention, he obviously loved the book. Why, he finished the entire thing during spring break. I could tell that by looking at the very fine map he drew. <gasps> Remember the map incident? And now I am the one sinking down into my chair because she is talking about Treasure Island and that map <gasps> and me. 
Oof. And this is also a very loyal young man, ladies and gentlemen. Ms. Sanchez continues, as my cheeks get hotter. He doesn't blame others when he makes a mistake. He is a valued member of this classroom community. And as far as the principal and I are concerned, his reputation is spotless. <gasps> Remember, just a chapter or two ago, he was ready to walk the plank. He was ready to jump blindfolded into the icy cold ocean, never to come back again. <gasps> he thought everything he did was wrong, but his teacher knew. His teacher knew he's not. He is spotless. The principal spotless. And now, Ms. Sanchez says, because this is a democracy. Hey, how are you? This is a democracy. I'd like for you all to elect a member of this class to go out and buy our next class mascot with this money. <gasps> she holds up a $5 bill. $5? I think a fish costs like 89 cents. But it has to be a goldfish, she adds quickly, seeing the gleam in a few kids' eyes. They were obviously thinking rat or tarantula. Bright green snake, they were probably thinking. Emma raises her hands. I nominate L. Ray Jakes to buy our class's official new fish, she says when Miss Sanchez calls on her. <gasps> this is really nice of Emma, considering that Annie Pat, Emma's best friend, wants to be the marine biologist, a fish expert, when she grows up, like I said before. But Annie Pat doesn't even look mad. Kevin's and Corey's hands go up at the same time. After Miss Sanchez says, I second the nomination. After Miss Sanchez calls his name. Are there any nominations? Any other nominations? Miss Sanchez says, Heather Patton looks at Cindy. As if asking whether or not Cindy wants to compete against me for this honor, but Cynthia is just about disappeared. She has slumped so low in her chair. She's staring straight ahead at nothing, but perfectly, of course. We would call that true Cynthia style. I actually feel sorry for her. Then we'll vote. Miss Sanchez says, glancing at the wall clock to see how much time we have left. All in favor of L. Ray Jake searching for our next goldfish this weekend, say aye. aye. All in favor, say aye. aye. And a ragged course of eyes float around the room. Hey, just like ours. Opposed? And I wait for the nays to boom out. Only there aren't any. Cynthia and Heather must be thinking nay, but that doesn't count. Then El Ray it is, says Miss Sanchez, smiling as she hands me the five dollars. Don't lose that, mister, she whispers so softly that only I can hear. I won't, I whisper back, smiling so wide that it feels like my ears are going to fall off. This is the first time I have ever won an election. It feels so good. The end of school buzzer sounds, and too late, Annie Pat claps her hands over the insensitive pink ears she has. Get those progress reports signed this weekend, people! Miss Sanchez calls out over the uproar that is us getting ready to escape Oak Glen Primary School for a beautiful and precious weekend. Okay, okay, a couple of dutiful kids call out, but me and my friends are already halfway out the door. On to the next fun thing, and I'm going to remember to get that progress, progress report signed, though. And I won't lose Miss Sanchez's $5, no matter what. And I'll buy our class the best. Go ahead, have a seat. Uh-uh. I will buy our class the best official new fish possible. People are counting on me. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. So I always see this picture at the end because I am one of the kind of readers that looks at the last page to see what it's going to look like. 
I always look at that and I wonder, how does he end up with another fish? I was thinking it was his own. It's the class pet. He has got something to do this weekend. He's got two things, get his progress report signed and get the class fish. Would you have told on Cynthia Harbinson or taken the blame? Think about it. Would you have taken the blame?